Hi everybody, it's Terry with Millendale. And this is Olga, hello. We are in the shop today, gonna show you just a, a quick arrangement that you can make for spring, and hopefully maybe you can use it for someone in the hospital or a birthday gift. You know, calling a florist is pretty expensive to get those real flowers. It's probably 60, $65, something like that. These are all materials you can pick up at your local hobby store, and we're gonna just put some things together real quick, and you can deliver this to one of your friends, and they'll love it, and they'll have it from now on. So uh, first we're gonna take just a, we've got little tin containers, really cute. Um, you're gonna need a glue gun. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna just put some of this glue down in the bottom. Look at that, smoking hot. All right, where's my glue sticks? This is that real high temp glue. And we're just using one glue gun today, so we'll just pass that over. Get your floral foam, just push it down into the bottom. You can just use pieces and break it up. Just stick it down in there. So we just stuck some pieces down in the bottom. And just keep building it up till it kind of gets to the top. And the main thing is it's just not going to fall out. Okay, so we've got it here. And don't worry so much about these spaces around on the outside. We're going to fill that in with some um, moss. So you won't need to put anything over there. Now you can actually put a few little tiny pieces this is dangerous. Be careful. So just maybe take a few little wedges and stick down so it won't wobble wobble. None of this is going to show so it can be functional. It doesn't have to be beautiful. Some pieces, mainly like that, so that it won't move into the container. And if you want, you can give it a little bit of glue. I mean, I would like to get this arrangement, wouldn't you? I would love it. I love the colors. Be fun to get at the hospital if you're not feeling good. Somebody walk in with this. And I have had a few customers who are allergic to real flowers. So this is a great alternative for those that can't be around. Real. Okay, at this point, I would suggest we take our reindeer moss or whatever moss you're gonna use, and let's go ahead and just put that, cover the foam itself. We're gonna cover this so it's hidden. I love the color. Isn't it it's pretty? Gorgeous. You know, this is the color of the year. Oh. You did not know that, did you? Did. My favorite color. So let's just cover this with some glue. And we're gonna just put this on top. Now my glue is really hot, it's a high temp. So make sure you don't touch the glue. Not that I've ever done that, but just fill up your container with your moss. Push it down in the corners. Once we put the flowers in, it's gonna hold it a little bit better. So it's not that big a deal if you don't get it all covered with the glue. Just kinda give it a good cover. And then you're gonna end up with this. It's work great. And it adds a little bit of color too. Okay, next step. Very good. <laughs> Just gonna cut those tags off. And any little spring bush, you could get these in bigger bushes. You know, I think Hobby Lobby sells like a bigger spring mix of flowers. These are fun, they will shape any way you want them to go. 
I love the colors. Mm -hmm. Now the rule of thumb in floral design is that your overall height of your arrangement should be two to two and a half times higher than the uh, height of your container. So again, I break all the rules so it doesn't, doesn't really matter. You can make it however you want to. But if you wanted this shorter, just cut your stem off and I think, I think I'm just going to leave mine. I think, I think I'm going to leave mine too. I like the I like the length. height of it. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to leave it. Give it a little bit of glue. Oh, get off of there. And then we're going to stick this one down right in the center. Okay. And then you can kind of shape it around. This will be so cheery for somebody. It needs a little boost in their day. Okay. Now I think the next one will actually cut up and surround this main stem. And did you know that these stems just pull completely apart? So just start pulling some of the pieces around, like so. Just pull them off. And I think it'll work good just to sort of randomly push these into the foam. Give them a little bit of glue, just a tiny little drop. And just find a spot and push it in. Now normally when I sell these type of arrangements, I use a pick machine. I think I've got it put up right now, but it does help with um, putting them in. Okay, so we're just going to randomly put in these pieces. Cut them up if you want. Did you need glue, my darling? Yeah. Ooh, jumping flowers. <laughs> Do not get this glue on your fingers, especially when it's hot. Okay. I'm going to shake that around. Now, Olga's really more experienced, or a lot more experienced in the fresh flower arena than I am. Um, she worked in a florist, did some weddings, and she knows the rules. I don't know any of the rules. And I'll probably break them all, but. So you can see we're just kind of filling in these holes. Blue strings. And you can use any flowers. You don't have to use if you wanted all tulips. You could put that. Some maybe some ivy. Whatever's on sale, at Hobby Lobby. I think they run flowers on sale every other week. Usually every other week, and it about half off. Okay, fifty percent off. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, in nature, flowers don't grow symmetrical. That I guess that's one of the reasons I, I like floral design is you can pretty much do anything, and it it looks beautiful. But if you were to walk out into a uh, flower garden or say, um, like here locally we have a beautiful garden area called the Norton Art Gallery 
and the flowers out there, they grow just random. So think about nature and the color that's there and how they actually will grow in their natural environment. And don't be so worried about it. Oh, this has to be hanging from that side and that has to be hanging from that side. And kind of want to look like you just went out and gathered a bunch of flowers and took them to your friend. Okay, almost there. Now I think we're just filling with some tulips. Don't you? Yep. I'm going to start. Mm hmm Just start cutting a few tulips. Just make sure everything's in there securely. I got some up for you. Thank you. Now these are nice because they've got a good sturdy stem on them. So they'll go into that floral foam and stay really good. Shape your leaves. Look, these are wired leaves. You can just take your hands and just sort of shape them out. Get a little bit of glue. And then bend your flowers so that they're kind of coming out that way. Instead of sticking straight up, just kind of give them a little bit of a curve. And I think what I'm going to do is put one on each corner coming out. See how this one's kind of curved out? Do we have enough? I think we have enough. Okay. Why does your stuff always turn out so much better than mine? I don't, why is mine better? It's just different. <laughs> When I taught wreath classes, we would all start with the same materials, and I would tell the ladies, look around, because everybody's is going to be different, and sure enough, everybody's personality kind of comes through on their own designs, which gives it your own unique personality. Again, this is just filling in. Let me do one on each corner. Shape it. I think I need another tulip. I grew some tulips one year. You know, you have to plan ahead. You have to put them in the ground the year before. And we hardly ever get snow in our area, but that particular year was March the 12th, which is my mom's birthday. I'll never forget it. It snowed on the tulips. I've got a picture somewhere of red tulips with snow on them in our front. Now, if you needed some filler with these, you can add a little pieces of fern, which I don't have here at the table, but we could put in some more tulips. But it doesn't have to be compacted in for it to be pretty. You can just kind of make it a little bit airy. I think that's pretty. One more piece I can put in. Now look how pretty that is. Thank you. Now, where's the ladybugs? We just have these little cute ladybug picks we're going to stick in there. Just cut this off. 
Now I expect all of you to make your next flower arrangement that you need to send to somebody in the hospital. That's your homework. The, the great thing about this is you could make a few ahead of time, put them in a place in your house when you've got somebody in the hospital, it's ready to go. No need to call the florist. And then we're just gonna put this little ladybug in there. You could put a bumblebee, a little bird, a little bird nest. Isn't that cute? I love it. Now look, if you really want to get, you can get these little inserts that the florists use. Push it in there. Sign your card. Here's the envelope. Put it on there. And look how professional that looks. You can just send this to the hospital. Drop it off at the front desk and um, they'll be glad to take it up there to the room for your, for your gift. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to do a spring arrangement. Our ladybugs, I think, are happy. And these are going to be ready for our next hospital um, visit. Or if you need a birthday gift or, I mean, I kind of would like this. I would like to keep it in my house just for decorations. You Beautiful. would? Yep. You would? <laughs> I would keep it. <laughs> or you would give it to me if I was in the hospital yes. and it's one I made. Anyway, thanks for being with us today. We hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and go out and make something pretty today. Mm -hmm.